talking to friends. Let's go down memory yeah, lane for I a minute. Back to the farmer's I daughter. I ever, yeah, when I was a little, little younger than you see me now. Inger Stevens was my leading lady, or let's say I was her leading man. They should try and, and she was playing the part of a governess, uh, attending to the children of a congressman living in Washington, D.C. It was all very on the up and up because my mother was living there with us. So we had chaperones and children, and there was no hanky-panky allowed. But Inger and I, because we liked a, a certain amount of humor, would try to sneak little goodies into the, into the show, which indicated that we were more than just employee and employer. On the other hand, Screen Jams and Columbia Pictures didn't want any of that, so they had people guarding us pretty carefully to make sure we didn't mess up and look too attractive to each other. On the other hand, that's why the show sold, is because, my, the electricity, this gorgeous girl, this young congressman, why don't they, will they ever, but, by the way, three years later, when they finally did get together and got married, the show went right off the air. Ergo, people must like that excitement better than they do marriage and happy story. Anyway, that isn't why I wanted you to listen. During the first week, the first show, we always had a scene that turned out later, where she, Katie was her name, Katie helps me out with my raincoat, or gives me my hat and my briefcases. Yaha, Mr. Morley, off to work, have a good time, I'll be here with the kids and mama. And off I'd go, and they'd have a scene back at the house. But there was the moment when I went off to work every morning, almost a standard thing. And in that first week we did it with the briefcase and the hat and the gloves and the raincoat, and somehow or other, both her breasts rested on my arm just before I finished putting on the coat. And I didn't finish putting on the coat, and we didn't laugh or giggle or anything, and they didn't cut. They didn't see it. We saw it. We noticed it. We didn't look down. We looked at each other. Blom, blom. And we went on with the scene. So they said, all right, next set up. That means it's in the film. And they didn't come and ball us out later because when they watched it in the stills, they didn't get it. It was very subtle. Wasn't, and it didn't last long. It was just a boom, boom, and off we'd go. <laughs> we thought it was kind of fun. We got away with that. I haven't seen enough of those lately to double check, but when you look at it next time, maybe you'll notice a little hanky-panky between Inger Stevens and, uh, and me on that show. It was all very innocent. And our private life was quite pristine. She had her friends and I had mine. But uh, that was a moment we couldn't resist. It was just too juicy not to keep going. End of story.